There seems to be uh, some differences between yogurt. Uh, in the presentation of Dr. Jordi Salas in this symposium, uh, there was some emphasis uh, on the relevant to reduce fat. In my field of expertise, high fat intake uh, is making more complex appetite control and may result in increased energy intake. Uh, if a yogurt is supplemented with the good bacteria influencing energy balance, it might be another fruitful action to increase the outcome, the, the benefits uh, of a yogurt. Uh, furthermore, I like telling that yogurt is a flexible food, has a flexible matrix in the sense that it gives the possibility to uh, proceed to some formulations, reformulations. And recently we did something consisting of changing the ratio of dairy proteins within yogurt with a significant impact on uh, energy intake. So yes, there are, there seems to be differences uh, between yogurt and uh, depending on the composition, uh, depending on the bacteria, strains, etc., uh, we might find there some explanations of the difference. And of course, uh, beyond that, there is the issue of the sweetening of yogurt that is coming to when we talk about that. When we talk about the protection of yogurt, we talk about the, all the types of yogurt. Streptococcus bulgaricus or Streptococcus thermophilus, mm -hmm. and uh, these beneficial effects on on, on uh, reducing the risk of di diabetes it has been observed not only in uh, in all total yogurt but also in, in low fat yogurt or yogurt with fat because uh, it has been demonstrated that not all types of saturated fatty acids, yogurt are very rich in saturated fatty acids when uh, is full of fat, uh, but not all types of saturated fatty acids have the same effects on insulin resistance. And probably the saturated fatty acids that contain yogurt have beneficial effects on in insulin resistance, so this could explain why in observational studies we have demonstrated an inverse association between the frequency of yogurt consumption and diabetes.